the greatest struggle that we have today in our world is not actually the struggle of money. It's actually the struggle of sexual immorality. Immorality has become a problem, a struggle, an issue in our world today. And that is because it is the most effective weapon of the devil against the church. Now let me simplify this now. Adultery is sexual relationship that happens between married people. If you're married and you have an affair with another married woman or with a single woman, it's called adultery. If you're single, you have an affair or sexual immorality with a single person, it's called fornication. Or if you're single, you have an affair with a married person, it is also called fornication. So Paul listed that these two are the most effective spiritual weapons of the devil against your spirit. Remember, the previous verses say, the flesh wars against the spirit and the spirit wars against the flesh. So it means that what are the weapons of the flesh against the spirit? Adultery. So when you commit adultery, it hits your spirit. It weakens your spirit. It paralyzes your spirit. That when you commit fornication, it goes straight against your spirit. It's, it's more or less like a bullet of fornication has been shot into your spirit. So your spirit has been injured. So you're in pain spiritually. And that bullet, if you do nothing, if you don't step into the grace of God and call on, law, on, on the Lord and obtain mercy and confess your sin quickly and repent from it and cry before the Lord and stay in the secret place for two or three days in, in, in tearing of the spirit, you might come to a point where it becomes a norm because Satan wants to normalize that bullet in your spirit. He wants you to start living in sin normally. And that means then an aspect of your spirit has been completely under the control, has come completely under the control of Satan or one particular weapon of the devil. That means you can never ascend into the fullness of God because one aspect of your life has been enslaved completely by Satan. Through adultery and fornication, you will lose your marriage, you will lose your affection for your spouses, you will lose your holiness, and you start becoming manipulative, defensive, protective, and from there, you become highly demonic. You start flirting and sleeping around with everybody. So I tell you one of the reasons Satan puts his bullets in you is not just only to kill you or to normalize you or to infect your spirit, but also to use that weapon inside you to trigger the same weapon into others. Now the Bible says a little living leavens the entire lump. Now what does that mean? It means that Paul gave a picture that if you don't exempt, remove, somebody who is immoral amongst you, he is going to infiltrate the entire system with immorality. He is going to corrupt. So a little living would live in the entire lump. So when Satan comes in our midst now as saints, righteous people, holy people, he can't do anything. He can succeed. So he's going to look into us and see one that is weak. And he shoots the bullet of adultery or fornication into her or into him. That woman or that man starts becoming too honey. You know, you know honey to everyone that has anointing. He's attracted to that one. To any leader in the church, he's attracted to that one. To that one that has exceptional gift, he's attracted because those gifts are what 
releases the glory of God in the people. So he targets the gifted, just like you saw how Jezebel targeted, you know, the prophet of God, how you saw Delilah targeted uh, Samson. They target the anointed to corrupt, to infiltrate the anointing. And once and Satan succeeds to cast that spell into that person, and that person start living in sin and start protecting the sin, he will begin to be used by Satan. So Satan would then, with that microchip of adultery or fornication that has gained entrance into that person, Satan doesn't need to appear in that church anymore. Satan will just travel back to the kingdom of darkness and put on his screen. With that microchip, he can control you. He will put honey, he will use the, that bullet of adultery in you to link it. He said, nah, go for that man. He will connect you with an exceptional att attraction for Pastor John. You don't even know why you are feeling for him. If you are the one, yeah, well. That's, that's, that's what he does. He start remote controlling. Now, go get this one. You, you won't even know. And then you start feeling horny for this one. And that's how he destroys some of you. At work. In your communities. For no reasons. You start feeling for somebody else. For no reasons. One rascal from somewhere says, I love you start acting up in your presence and you fall so cheaply. It is how the devil works. He uses his bullets in people to cause others to fall. Are you still here? So repeat this in the name of Jesus. Satan, you will not use me. Not at all. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And everybody say amen. amen. Come on, shout amen. amen.